Om Namo Narayan. Om Namo Narayan and Namaste for Mishi Cash. I have a few questions that have been asked and I'd like to answer them on the video thought song. <clears throat> if it's not too much trouble, could you talk about sages and gurus? Someone said only the guru can teach and a sage is an ascetic who lives isolated from people. <clears throat> well, it's not always true that a sage lives isolated from the people, but the sage is one that has entered realization and they are the ones that wrote the Upanishads and gave this wisdom to people. <clears throat> Whereas a Sat Guru has taken on the mantle to teach in a specific path, such as in this path, I'm a Sat Guru as appointed by my Guru, and I'm available to teach in the path of Kundalini, <clears throat> because I've been through the Kundalini journey for 30, 40 years, okay? So pretty much the ins and outs are known of it. Now some sages may go on to become Sat Gurus, okay, but uh, there's a little more background sometimes to be given in all of the specifics of the Kundalini journey itself. So let's continue on. So although you may have mentioned this before, respect for the Gurus, sages, and what it means for the Sadhaka, and how rare it is to have this grace. Well, it's very, very unusual to be able to have four or five sages and two sat gurus that one has access to most readily. <clears throat> this is very, very rare. And so one that comes in any path should have humility, okay? This is, they come and they should be tested. But we've been so open and giving to people that people have become a little, um, not as respectful as they are in most paths. Most paths require it, absolutely respect. In this path, uh, we, we hope that people will come and honor what's given and have just basically uh, a type of a humility and be respectful, okay? We're not asking for people to come and do full pranams and, and uh, that none of that is asked for in this tradition. Although there is a reason that in other traditions it is required, and it's to develop humility, okay? So hopefully people on this path are far enough along to understand that, okay? They should have enough maturity to understand that, to engage this path. <coughs> and what having this respect shows to the guru about the student? People are so accustomed to the mass seminar quickie fix ashram, there seems to be no real value placed on the honest to good one-to-one -one direct guru to student transmission. It seems to be a lost art. This one looked around for a fully enlightened teacher for over 10 years, and I'm sure what is happening here is quite rare. It is quite rare. Most of the gurus now have been wanting to be Vishwa gurus, world gurus. So they're not doing the traditional one-to-one -one methodology. So this is extremely, extremely rare. And to find it in the West, it is even more rare. So one should uh, take this into account and come in the right type of a position and a right type of understanding and be able to absorb what they can from this teaching. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right.